Well, hello everyone and welcome back to some more F1 Manager 23, where we have had some very nice results the last couple of races. Let us see if we can keep that going into Spa. Okay, we have... We didn't build, build uh, enough suspensions or side pods in time for this race, unfortunately. So let's see what we can do with the parts that we do have. Beautiful track. This weekend we're in Belgium, in the picturesque province of Liège. Halfway through the season, it's too early to call the championship. Can teams make good before the summer break, or will they be hoping for a reset? Spa-Francorchamps should need no introduction. From the sweeping curve of Eau Rouge and Radion to the flat-out descent through Pouan. This is just over four miles of wonderful racing wherever you look in the Belgian countryside. This weekend we'll be taking a slightly different form as we have the addition of a thrilling sprint race thrown into the mix. So, without further ado, let's get started. And off we go. Okay, simulate P1. But uh, wait. Um, it only sim says simulate the session. I'm guessing this is going to be yeah. It's, this is a sprint race. Then I'm going to actually want to manage P1 because I want to get as much. I'm going to have. I'm going to want to to get as much uh, info as possible. Okay, get me more feedback. Okay, three of five. Four of five. Come on, get me that setup knowledge. Okay, good. Call in. And Reconfigure. Okay, where can we improve here? Sure, let's try that. So, uh, confirm. Call in. Reconfigure. Uh, that's not great, but sure, let's try it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Send out. And here we've got a yellow flag. And out. Get me that knowledge, please. Come on, fast as you can. Okay. 
Pokemon. Four of five. Come on, you can do it. Last one. Come on. Excellent. Called in. And reconfigure. Let's get the cornering. Back in check. Tiny little adjustments. Hey, okay, let's try that. It's sixty eight right now. Get me that five out of five. Okay, called in. And reconfigure. Okay, that's 79. Pretty much perfection right there. Okay, let's flip. Let's give it a tiny, tiny fucking width. Just to. Just to see if that changes anything for the better. And both of you can go out. They won't have any any time to, to do any more fiddling, so. Get it. Let's just let them get as much knowledge as they can. Okay, how are we set up wise then? Set us what, what the fuck do you mean set up satisfaction unknown? And the race weekend continues. Here we are now at qualifying. In a format familiar to our drivers, three parts of qualifying will decide who sits where on the sprint race grid. A good performance today will give them a real advantage for the rest of the weekend. Here's Fernando Alonso. Big question, how have things been for him heading into this qualifying session? It hasn't been a great showing from the team's drivers so far. Neither will want to be left behind, and I'm sure they'll both be looking to pull ahead today. So don't go anywhere, folks. It's nearly time for qualifying. Okay. It says untested, which is strange, because it definitely did get tested. Now let's simulate. Lance got P1. Interesting. Okay, 71%. All I can adjust is the front wing angle. Which is not good. So just let it be. But Alonso has 93%, which is excellent. Okay, simulate P2. P1 and P4. Interesting. Let's see if that translates into an excellent uh, sprint race. 
welcome back as the drivers gear themselves up for today's sprint, the results of which will determine the grid for the Grand Prix. And whilst qualifying has already established today's starting grid, the results of the sprint will determine the lineup for the Grand Prix itself. Points go to the top finishers in the sprint, and with no mandatory pit stops, it's all about the racing on the track. Well, teams will need to be clever. There's no time to relax. It's the sprint around Spa. What I would really like for them to try for sprint race qualifying was instead of having qualifying, the sprint race grid should be reverse, uh, reverse championship order. Okay, we can comfortably run. We can very comfortably run um, Okay, which one of them is actually flat out on the medium seems to be an excellent strategy. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm not going to mess with fuel. Excellent. And let's go. P1 and P5. Should be interesting. Challenging laps await the drivers in today's sprint here at Spa. And once the lights go out here at Spa, the attention will shift to the first corner, a turn that has seen its fair share of dramatic incident over the years. Forget the scheduled pit stops today, it's all about racing. Here we are. The sprint around Spa Francorchamps. And it's lights out, and away we go. Okay. Go. Yeah. I am not going to push on the fuel too much. Your box is getting fucked, unfortunately. Not going to push on the fuel too much because it's only 15 laps. We don't have that much time to recover. Okay, let's get this done as, as best we can. Okay, stop pushing. Excellent. DRS is enabled, so things are going to start getting tricky. Perez does not have DRS on signs, which is good for me. Okay, Hulkenberg locked up. Okay, Alonso is very dangerous, very dangerously close to Perez. Come on, we can do it. Can we overtake on the pit straight? Let's go, come on. Okay, Perez is guarding that very closely. Okay, we lost position to signs, that is to be expected. We we're still very close, and Perez does not have DRS. Neither does Hamilton have DRS on us, this is very good. This is very good. We are on a like, yeah. The going flat out on the mediums seems to be seems to have been a good call. They're on 
they are all on um, on softs, and we are just flying on the mediums. And we overtake Perez. He is doing what Perez does best, which is defensive driving. Come on. Take him. As long as we are riding his ass, we're good. Problem is, Paris has a huge ass. Very hard to overtake. They're running out of battery. But overtaking signs and overtaking Perez. Excellent P1 and P3. Very nice for us. Very, very nice. They're, however, out of battery. Okay, stroll. It's almost safe. Almost out of the RS uh, zone from signs. Which is very good. So as long as Alonso can keep ahead of Perez, we should be having a very nice finish to our qualifying, to our sprint, sprint qualifying. In fact, I can't believe I just missed that. Uh, yeah, push. Push, 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 push. We have the fuel push. We can go. We can get a one-two on sprint. That would be amazing. That would be amazing for us to get a one-two on on the sprint race. Come on. The tires are boiling, but they still have life in them. In fact, they have more life than we expected them to. Can we overtake signs before the end of the race? Sainz does not have DRS, and we do. Come on. Okay, push, 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 push. Okay, let's conserve a little bit of fuel. Ah, wish we had a little bit more fuel. So we could go. Yeah, if we had a little bit more fuel, we could have done a 1 2. Not gonna be. Not likely, unfortunately. Wait. Maybe. 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 Okay, come on, pit straight. Damn it. Okay. Signs was really. It had a, some speed there. Unfortunately. I don't think Alonso. Alonso just inching 
inching away from Sainz's ass. But it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Well, as I say that, it was enough. And we finish in a 1-2. We finish our, our sprint with a 1-2. Excellent. What an outcome. They can go into the race full of confidence now. Now, can we translate this amazing performance into race results? Got an achievement from re re from winning a sprint. Beautiful. Didn't get the fastest lap though. Well, there's nothing quite like it. Welcome along to race day. Motor car racing didn't have the best of starts at Spa Francorchamps. Only one driver registered for the very first car race back in 1921, so a motorbike race replaced it instead. Times have changed, and now Spa is a solid fixture on the F1 calendar. Now this should be an interesting race for Lance Stroll, wouldn't you say, Karim? You know what, Crofty? They're performing well above what's been expected of them so far. All in all, not a bad place to be. Well, no one can ever predict what will happen at Spa Francorchamps. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be eventful. So as long as it doesn't rain. Spa is the one is the one race where you don't want it to rain. <laughs> Been traumatized by it before. Ah, the damage gearbox, not great. Okay, one stop. Sure thing. Okay, I'm not gonna... I might just slightly overfuel. I'm not gonna mess with the tires, we are in very thin margins. We've got 44 laps ahead of us here in Spa as we get ready for the Belgian Grand Prix. And You're gonna need a new gearbox anyway, so... ...is prepared to put in the hard work. They're on pole, and it's well deserved. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. And it'll be exciting to see just what will happen here today. You can hear the excitement in the crowd here at the Belgian Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. Okay. Give him a show. As long as you can stay ahead, that will be beautiful. Okay, just make sure we don't fuck up. And hopefully that the gearbox doesn't give out. Sign's gonna fight us for it, but that's to be expected. Okay, what's everyone else's tires? Okay, everyone's mostly on soft, some mediums. Okay, a couple of couple of cars already getting out of the RS range. It's not great for them. But we are doing good. We might be losing position to Perez and Signs, but that is fine. Needs to be expected. And there's been quite a crash. Uh oh, how badly? That's not great. 
That is a nasty spin. And just like that, the hopes of the team start to dwindle. Okay, DRS enabled. It's party time. Okay, Alonso is outside the RS range of signs. Not great. Yep, to be expected, Stroll loses out to signs. Alonso loses out to Perez. Just keep it steady, boys. Luckily, Verstappen is outside of the RS range from us. Which is surprising. Unfortunately, we're not staying inside the arrest range of Perez. Perez is probably going to overtake Stroll. And we might lose position to Verstappen pretty soon. But those are things that are to be expected. Okay, let's cut back on the energy. Let's try and fill up the batteries. overtook but apparently we took it back come on lads having a very nice race okay let's stop pushing okay let's get Push again. See if you can get some space from those Red Bulls. The one P two. That is very nice. Very very nice. It's nice and steady, boys. Nice and steady. In very good positions. Okay. Sure, let's have Alonso pit first. And Stroll pits next lap. Have the Red Bulls pitted yet? Not yet. Okay, we're doing good. Doing very good. Okay, let's use ERS. It's full. Let's get us some... some space. The more we can get away from from the Red Bulls, the better it is to undercut them. Okay, Paris is spitting in at the same time as we are. So not much of an overcut of an undercut. But we did a good pit stop and we are coming out ahead. Excellent. Very, very good. Very, very good. Now, Stroll's gonna pit. Sainz and Verstappen probably... Well, Sainz has already pitted. So we lost position to Sainz there. Um, Verstappen will pit soon.
Sun's doing very well, that fastest lap. Can we say ahead of Leclerc, though? How has signs? How does signs get that much of a lead? That's impressive. That undercut really, really went uh, in favor of the Ferraris. Okay, everyone else should be pitting. Gotcha, got a pit stop issue. Still ahead of Leclerc, which is excellent. It's smooth and steady. Let's charge the batteries back up. Okay, Leclerc overtook us. Okay, these Ferraris are doing very well for themselves. We have the tire advantage on them, luckily. Let's try and overtake Perez. On, boys, we give it all you have. Okay, Alonso is comfortably ahead of Perez. Can Stroll overtake? Yes, he can. Excellent. Let's conserve fuel. We're still we're ahead of Perez. Excellent. Now, will the tire advantage bring us in front of the Ferraris? Is the question. Charge the batteries back up. Might lose position to Perez. If we're not if we're not careful. Now it looks like yes it is. Alex Albon's involved in that. Okay, what happened? So we're heading now into turn five. Barely any room to maneuver. That is not good. Oh that's quite an impact between them. It's clearly the it's clearly Joe crashing into the album. Yep, five second penalty for him. Can we fend off Perez? Can, can Stroll fend off Perez? Stroll fend off Perez long enough for our tire advantage on the Ferraris to to put us ahead. Fortunately, there's no uh, give give your teammate uh, DRS option. Come on, we can do it. Move as silk. Okay, we're getting time. We're getting time on Perez. That is awesome. Come on, keep it above one second. That is great. Okay, he will not have DRS. Awesome. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Don't think we'll be able to... Unless... The Ferraris start losing a lot of time because of their tires. Uh, we might not be able to overtake them. 
Okay. Let's pop up the ERS. You go neutral. Hopefully we go top up. Uh, as long as our time to science doesn't doesn't drop too much. Okay, we're doing very well. In fact, no, I was going to conserve our power units, but I'm still I'm still holding out hopes that we might be able to overtake at least Leclerc. It strolls inside the RS. That is good. That is good. Stroll can catapult off of Alonso. Awesome. Now, let's deploy whatever ERS we have. Let's try to make up as much ground as we possibly can. Get as close to those Ferraris as possible. With Stroll catapulting off Alonso, we might be able to make it. We might. Might. Okay, let's save up a little bit more fuel. Okay. Okay, don't fight Stroll. If he's faster than you, let him pass. Excellent. I don't think it's going to be enough to catch up to the Ferraris, though. No, we're not going to catch up to the Ferraris like that. Would have been nice. Would have been nice to give a, a double pole in, maybe even a 1-2. Okay, push whatever we have left. Keep ahead of Stroll. Uh, keep ahead of Paris. Oh, fuck! And Sainz crosses the line first. He's taken the win. Seriously? <laughs> oh, shit. Seriously? Well, well, well. Seemed pretty horrendous. Oh, I. Are you shitting me? I ran out of fuel with Stroll. What happened with Stroll? Did, I, did something break on his car? That up there is no oh, that. To an F1 oh, for fuck's sake. That could have been amazing. Still. Still a great race. Still a great race. And there you have it. Could have been better. A smiley podium lineup at the Belgian Grand Prix. Could have been better, but it's still a great race. So, Karun, with the garages full of activity, what's the mood like down at Aston Martin now? They'd certainly be pleased to have made the podium. A job well done for sure. Why is Stroll celebrating? His, he, his car blew out. That is that for this weekend's F1 action here in Belgium. For the next round, Formula One won't be straying too far. We'll be heading to the dunes of Zandvoort and the lightning speed of the Dutch Grand Prix. We need to check the recording and see what actually happened to Stroll. Because that could have been... That could have been a lot better of a result. 
Still, still pretty good. Still pretty good. Still got a podium. And a win on the sprint. Okay. Performance below target. Board, com board confidence is at least medium now. Excellent. Could have been worse. Okay. Ah, this is uh, it's, this is risky, but sure. Let's select the board that sends on boards. Uh, if <laughs> if our luck runs out, uh, it's gonna be bad. Okay, install replacement. Which begs the question. No, let us let us risk using the power trains a, a little bit longer this time. A, a little bit longer. Because we can't afford to, to have the penalties for Zanvort. Okay, still don't have the... High confidence. Somehow. Okay, leave it as balanced. Okay, do we have... Come on, give me that suspension. I need that second suspension. Excellent. Brand new wind tunnel. And let's get a better CFD simulator. Why the fuck not? Okay, now what are we what parts are we running low on? Yeah, let's let's fill a couple more rear, rear wings. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, we got spare underfloors, it's fine. I think we do have spare everything we need. Mostly. Okay, we have a, an extra suspension, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, brand new suspension for both cars, excellent. Keep going. Hopefully we won't be needing to replace two entire chassis. But sure, since we have the time, let's let's build another replacement chassis. No need for wings, no need for rear wings. We're good. Everything's good. Yeah, 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 we need more, we need new gearboxes, I know, but that will be for next race after this one. And this will be it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, I have been Pope. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you all next time.